Hi, my name is Mary Lucas of Rescue Me Virtually, and I offer virtual administrative support to small businesses by helping them with organizing, maintaining, and marketing their business. Today, we're going to go over how to customize a PayPal button for your website. The first thing we're going to do is log in. And we put in our password. If you haven't done so, done so already, then go ahead and um, create a PayPal account. Okay, once we log in, we should land on our summary page. And this is where our dashboard is. Now on the toolbar, we want to click tools. You can also go in here through uh, profile, but today for the demonstration purposes, we're going to use tools. Now inside here, if you've already created a button before, you'll see it'll be in this list. But today we're going to do all tools. Now we're going to land on a page that gives us a variety of options of the tools that PayPal offers. And we're going to scroll down to PayPal button, which is here. If you want this PayPal button to be in the tools list, you click the heart. And it should add it to this list. Here it is right here. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to click on buttons. This will take you to your make button page, and we're going to click on buy now. And also, your save buttons will be over here if you um, saved them already. We're going to click on buy now. And this, we use that one since we're going to be creating a new button. Okay, then we want to create PayPal payment button. So we have the buy now button. We're going to leave that the same. And we're going to give our button a name. I'm going to use the name of my book. If you want to give it an item in mind, you can do so here. I'm going to add a price. And this we can leave blank. Now, add, you can add shipping here. If you have shipping, you can add it by the weight or if you have a specific amount. But I'm going to use a specific amount. If you have any tax, you add it here. This section right here for this demonstration purposes, we're going to use this blank. In this section, it asks if you want to customize your checkout pages. Um, if you want to let the person order more than one copy, they can do so. You can allow them to do so by clicking yes. If they want to send to you special instructions, um, how many, if they want it um, autographed or anything like that, you can allow them to do that here. Yes. Do you need the shipping address for your customer? Of course. Make sure that's yes. And once they finish or if they want to cancel that order, you can put the URL that you want them to revert back to once they've uh, finished. They could do that here or if they cancel that order. And then you want to come down here and create the button. That was a fairly simple process. Once the button has been created, you want to add your button code to your web page. You do not want to select the website page. You want to come over to the email. You can click select code. I'm sorry. Well, you can highlight it. Copy it. And then use this to put into the code of the button that you want on your website. If you need to review your button, you can go down here to save buttons so you can see it on the list. Here it is right here on the list.
you can choose to edit the button, view it, or delete it. You can see I have three buttons here. <laughs> but this is the end of your tutorial. I hope this was helpful. Again, my name is Mary Lucas of Rescue Me Virtually. I offer virtual administrative support to small businesses. If you have any questions or need administrative support, you can visit my website at rescuemevirtually.com or you can email me at help at rescuemevirtually.com. I look forward to joining you for my next tutorial.